Welcome to Stockholm. Today we are going to explore together the Mitte Glöffler Institute, the oldest mathematical institute in the world and my most favorite place for math. Under the building you see the dungeon, but we won't go there because some things have to be kept a secret. Gösta Mitte Glöffler put effort into inviting Sofia Kovalevska to the institute, who here became the first woman math professor in the world. So this is the research program I'm attending at the Institute and we enter the Institute. There is this wonderful bear who greets us. The Institute was founded in 1916 by Gösta Glöffler and his wife Signe. I found the book of Jonas Jonasson in the library. It's a very witty Swedish writer. Um, I like his other book better, but this one is also fun. The building of the villa was actually the place where Mitte Glofflers lived, but it was built already with the idea of making it a place for math research and mathematicians. Here you can see the most prestigious mathematical journals, like Annals of Mathematics and Acta Mathematica, which is actually published by the Mitte Glofler Institute. And this is a mechanic pencil sharpener. I've never seen such a thing before, but apparently it can sharpen your pencil if you figure out how to make it work. Just look at these beautiful views, aren't they magnificent? And this is the blackboard where I'm preparing another video project for you guys. While here you can find photocopies of the correspondence of Mitte with various famous people. So I found here Kantor and Poincaré and Sofia Kovalevska and Wierstras and there are more people. And those letters are absolutely impossible to read. I won't even show you. The handwriting is not readable. Okay, I found a math page which you can maybe parse if you want because there are some equations and something like PDEs. So maybe you can understand what does it say. Let's go to the next floor. I really love this, um, I don't know how to call it, it's not a painting, um, a piece of art. I'm going to the library, but first I wanted to show you a very cool globe. So this is, this is a chalk globe and it's supposed to be used by astronomers to draw geodesics here or something. And here I can show you one of the secrets of the institutes. I'm sure there are plenty, but I know about this. These are secret blackboards. <laughs> this is Gösta Mitte himself, the owner of the villa, who is famous besides his mathematics for the legend that mathematicians don't get Nobel Prizes because Nobel's wife had an affair with Gösta. However, the sad truth seems to be that Nobel was not really interested in math. Well, too bad for Nobel. And by the way, he never got married either, so I don't know where the legend about his wife comes from. However, in the beginning of 20th century, the villa hosted dinners for the Nobel Prize laureates in this beautiful library. And I wish you could see those panels in the top floor. I should say that this institute is a very sentimental place for me. Perhaps I had my most exciting math life days here because I came here during the second year of my PhD to a research program and it was the place where I met my team of collaborators and we started our first projects and it was overwhelmingly exciting. And I also met a lot of friends here and some of the interviewees that you have already seen. This time none of them is around so I wish they knew how much they're missed. <laughs> but I'm very happy to have this opportunity to show you guys at least some glimpses of the Institute and I hope you enjoy them despite my lacking capacity to film. And also thank you to Gusta for this wonderful Institute. Folks, can you see the deer? There are four of them on the campus. 
thanks to YouTube analytics, I know that most of my audience is supposedly American men in their 30s. And they might be less excited about seeing deer than European women in their 20s. However, aren't they the most beautiful, gorgeous creatures you've ever seen? To be honest, deer are my favorite part of the campus. Yes, cuties. These deer must have known tons of mouth. Love you. Goodbye, dear.